is a song called Gallop. My name's John Bilber and um, I guess I'm a singer-songwriter, but um, not your... Uh, that's a, like, kind of a bad thing to say, really, that you're a singer-songwriter. Um, but I, I write songs and I sing, so I guess I am. Well, I don't need to go. I recorded my last EP in India, Chennai, with uh, Bollywood musicians, um, a lot of whom have worked with A.R. Rahman and uh, people like that. And um, yeah, so it's a mix of um, kind of Eastern influences with, um, I guess, folk. Just Well, I think for me, um, like lyrics are really important, um, and I think anyone who kind of, I don't know, disregard or just doesn't spend any, you know, time, I, I, you know, you can really hear the difference in the song when someone is really, they know what they're doing with their lyrics and, and they, they've got a story that they're telling, you know. Um, my lyrics tend to be inspired by the melody, and uh, because, um, you know. You can, you can do very interesting things when you're mixing words with melody. Um, you can obviously you could write something that is very harsh um, with something very soft melodically, you know. So there's, the, there's that kind of element. Let go of the rail And drift away One look at you My worries, my blue Tears don't stand a chance Cause I'm careless In your arms On the back of buses, on trains, on planes, anywhere, you know, just have a pad and something with me and, and those are the planes. Like, I, I'm not really, I've, I've never understood it so much when people say, oh yeah, I'm going to go away to a lighthouse for a month and, and write, you know, um, and just be by myself. Like for me, um, and particularly being in London, it's about being in that, that place where there's so much going on around you that you can, and, and, and in Chennai as well, you know, there's so much happening that, that inspires the world. You know, and, and actually, um, yeah, being around other people and, 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 and usually when you try to sit down and write um, it's, it's not happening I am well they're always going to be from my um, yeah, I guess they're always going to be from my whether I'm I'm, I'm singing in a, in a role or whatever, you know. But they are, you know, from my experience. This you kind know, of biography. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. But um, I think the main thing for me is something very emotional. You know, um, there's something that I do with, try to do with my music. Um, so um, yeah, I try to be. I think it's it's a mix between something quite otherworldly, but also something very. Um, Real and true at the same time. <laughs> so. Like holy lovers with a sacred need, we'll fight the morning for a part of you, a part of me. Pray with me. Funny that if you haven't, like, I'd, I'd like to pull someone out that you haven't heard of or whatever, or someone really out there, but um, I, I can really it just, it just comes down to the very um, standard um, Bob Dylan and, and people like that and, and Sufjan Stevens is someone as well who's you know who writes these very innocent naive kind of childlike melodies but um, in that gets away with something that's uh, 
often takes you off, off guard, you know, with what he's actually writing about. I think sometimes the really interesting thing is when um, people can pick up things that you didn't really know that were there. Often I'll play a song to people and ask them, you know, what did you get from that? And, um, and you know, most of the time it is what I was trying to. But I think because there is not only words but melody and also performance as well, you know, a song can sound completely different when you play it in a different place as well. So I, I guess there's no set thing, but you know, more more in the moment of that, that time, you know. Mm -hmm.